You can log into PowerSchool on your iPad one of two different ways. Um, the first way is using the PowerSchool app. Now the PowerSchool app, when I open it, uh, it's gonna ask the first time for a district code. Uh, our district code for Pattonville is MDBM. Once I enter that once and hit continue, uh, it should not ask for that again. So now it's asking for my PowerSchool username and password. So my username is the first part of my email address, also what is on the sticker on my iPad. The password is my first initial followed by the student number and then my last initial. Once I've entered them both, I go ahead and hit go or hit return. And this will log me into the app. From here, you'll be able to tap on classes at the bottom uh, to be able to see all of your grades and all of your classes. You can also tap on schedule at the bottom to see what your current schedule is for the day. And you can even tap on account and adjust your notifications uh, if you want to for what things you are notified for and which things you aren't. Now the other way you can access PowerSchool is by using the SIS button. Uh, this stands for Student Information System. And this is simply a link to the website version of PowerSchool. Now when I open up the website version of PowerSchool, I'm gonna use the exact same username and password. Now it's important to note that your username is all lowercase. A lot of times it will start by trying to make that first little capitalized, uh, but it should be all lowercase. I go ahead and tap sign in. And now I'm logged into PowerSchool via the web. So from here, I can same thing, check my classes. I have my schedule over here on the left. I could check my grade history, teacher comments, and so on. Now you may also be accessing your textbooks uh, from this area using the Pearson Courses link in the left-hand sidebar. This uses something called EasyBridge, which will connect you to ELA, social studies, and math textbooks.